All right. So before we cook with this, I'm gonna go ahead and put a thermometer that I bought from uh, Lowe's. So it says it fits a 3 8 hole. So I'm just gonna put it right here. I can just get my center punch real quick. Get my face shield. I don't know where my, my glasses are at. I already burned it out. It actually turned the whole thing a blue tint, so you know it got pretty hot. Uh, I'll probably burn it out one last time before I cook on it. I've already put about three fires in it. All right, here's a thermometer made in China. That must be a metric 38 hole. That's a that's too big. I should have put a smaller hole in it. There it is. My speedometer, I mean thermometer, goes up to 650. Got one, one project down for the day. Got three goals for today. Smoke, uh, damper, thermometer, trim the edges, and cook a steak. I'm going to make it out of my favorite material. Piece of 1 8 thick, cold rolled steel. It's just going to be a little flipper type that goes like that. Okay, I got my little piece. I mean, I'm just eyeballing it, but that's about as level as I can make it. It's funny how when it's heating up, you can smell the barbecue wood in it. Like, I guess it's smoking inside. Yeah, it's done. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, drill two holes in these two pieces, put a bolt through it, and a washer and like maybe a nut or something to space it so it can open and close. Then I'm going to drill a, a half inch hole in the bottom of here. It's not going to be adjustable for now because I don't know how to do that. I'll be back whenever I'm ready to cook on it. we got to leave to go get a ribeye or a New York strip or something. Okay, so there's the damper. I think it looks kind of dumb. And there's the rest of the grill. It's ready to go. I'm about to start a fire in it. I recently picked up these uh, tumbleweeds. They use no chemicals and are supposed to make a, a fire easy to start with no lighter fluid. So I'm just going to put one down on the bottom, put some charcoal over it, and then uh, light it up. It's my first time using these tumbleweeds, but so far it looks like it burns pretty good. Like it wants to light up real easy with no chemicals. So I'm going to go over here and uh, get some of these oak branches and twigs and just put them in there because I know that light's pretty easy too. Now, now it's time just to let it sit there and uh, start to burn. I got me a New York strip and some Montreal steak seasoning from the local grocery store. I'm not trying to offend nobody, but just just my opinion. Take that sirloin back to the grocery store with all that Worcestershire sauce and all that uh, orange juice marinades and stuff like that. That's just too much of a hassle for me. Uh, steaks like New York strip, flat iron steaks, and ribeyes do not need to be marinated. They're already tender. They're way better steaks, they're easier. Just put some seasoning on it and throw it on the grill. Of course, a fillet mignon is the ultimate, and those are really lean and really tender, but they're just kind of too expensive. Anyway, so, so let me go ahead and finish seasoning this up and throw it on the grill. This is not meant to be an instructional video on how to cook a steak. This is just me showing off my grill and showing that it works. Um, all grills kind of burn a little bit different, so your cooking times might vary. I'm shooting for a medium steak, but actually I, I'll eat anything from a rare steak to a well done steak. It really doesn't matter to me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put it on there for five minutes on each side. And um, I close the door right here because, you know, to get rid of that flare up. But either, either way, you know, I'll do my little victory dance. So I'm going to do five minutes on each side, then I'm pull it off the grill. When flipping a steak, use tongs. Don't use a fork and poke holes all over it. There's nothing more fun than cooking a steak and watching your cats play fight. These two are brother and sister. They're about five months old. Too bad I had to give one of them away here uh, just a few minutes ago, actually. <laughs> Alright, so the steak is ready to pull off the grill and slice it up. Okay, so here it is all sliced up. I was shooting for medium, but it looks closer to medium rare. Either way, it still tastes good. It's nice and tender and juicy. 
right here I'm about to squeeze it to kind of show some of the juices it looks way redder in the video than it does in person either way don't do what I did get you a meat thermometer and cook everything to the proper internal temperature to however you want it final test got me some chicken quarters one of my favorites the only problem is like I need to make sure that grill can can run stable at about 300 degrees Cook these for about an hour, uh, maybe an hour and a half. I'm going to show you my secret recipe. Don't nobody get offended. But in my opinion, keep your barbecue sauce. Keep whatever mop sauce, whatever weird rituals you do. And just take that back to the grocery store. Get you some Slap Your Mama. It's basically like a, it says Cajun seasoning, it's the same thing as like Tony Satry's Creole seasoning, or at least it's, it's very similar. I think it's black pepper, salt, and uh, red pepper, or cayenne pepper or something, but it's pretty good. I like to season it a lot because I always eat it with rice. Uh, I always, you know, serve this with, with white, white rice that's pretty bland, so it kind of evens it out. You might not want to put as much as I did. But I'll be fine. I'm just going to throw these on and... How did I manage that? It's been sitting just above 300. It was actually below, it was actually at 300 for a while, but it's pretty stable. A little bit too hot, but it'll be alright because I kind of offset the chicken a little bit. And most likely it'll cool down because the... the just trust me, I know what I'm doing. Just as I suspected, it uh, kind of stabilized almost at 275. That's about two, it's almost 300, so that's about 275. I haven't even messed with it. I just walked away from it and started making this video. And there they are cooking in there. I'm going to give them a real quick flip. I'm going to have to stop recording this. It's just too dark out here. I can't see what I'm doing. But they're going to they're gonna be all right, trust me. Another 30 minutes has passed, and it's still right there, about 275. Chicken still has a lot of juice on it. So I'm going to cook it a little bit longer until it dries out just a little bit more. So, okay, so this is how the chicken came out. It just, I shouldn't have done it like that, but it peels right off the bone. It's still moist in there. And it tastes pretty good. Actually, I've left it on there for an hour and a half. It's still pretty moist inside. So, don't do what I did. Use a meat thermometer. This wasn't really meant to be like an instructional video on, on a recipe or how to cook. I really just wanted to show that my grill worked. Even though the um, charcoal is too close to the actual food, it still it still managed to cook without like scorching anything. Whenever you do yours, use a meat thermometer and do the proper stuff because I can't recommend doing it like this. Anyway, if you found this video entertaining, please like and subscribe. One thing I wanted to mention real quick. Is I didn't like the way the skin came out. It didn't crisp it up enough. It it, it, uh, it was kind of soggy. I didn't really like that. It's probably because I cooked it a little bit indirect. But it was my first time cooking on this grill. The next time I'll probably uh, get it right or at least make it a little bit better. Either way, the end.